1970s were the start of real rock and roll extravagance. There are quite a few stories about the excesses of Led Zeppelin, and in particular, John Bonham. Bonham was born in Redditch, England on May 31, 1948, and started playing drums at age five. He would go on to become one of the world's most celebrated drummers, and would also go on to have one of the most unique car collections in rock history. While all members of the band had impressive car collections in their own right, usually the focus on Led Zeppelin and cars is riveted on Bonzo. Today we're diving into the car collection of the legendary drummer, John Bonham. Let's begin. Nineteen sixty five, four twenty seven Shelby AC Cobra. To compete with the Corvettes and Ferraris of the day, Carroll Shelby and Ford Motor Company decided to shoehorn the mighty four twenty seven FE motor into the Cobra, which propelled the car from zero to sixty miles per hour in under four seconds. To fit the four twenty seven, Shelby completely redesigned the frame, body, and chassis to handle the increase in torque. The big block, Shelby Cobra, is considered by many to be the most iconic American sports car in history, fitting for, arguably, the most iconic drummer in history. Model T Hot Rods. Bonham's 1915, Ford Model T C-Cab Hot Rod was originally built in California in 1970 by Andy Brizio, who nicknamed it Andy's Instant T. Bonzo bought the car in 1974 from Brizio and immediately shipped it back to the UK at an extravagant cost. The car appeared in Led Zeppelin's 1976 film The Song Remains the Same, cementing its place in rock and roll history. It was one of two Model T hot rods owned by Bonham. The other, a 1923 Chevy-powered Ford T-Bucket. The T-Bucket, or Bucket T, is a hot rod based on the Ford Model T, but extensively modified. Using the two-seater body of a Model T Roadster, the bucket-shaped body shell gives the cars their name, typically featuring V8 engines, along with tough drivetrains to handle the power and large rear tires. John Bonham's Jensen's. Bonzo's absolute car obsession was with V8-powered cars, produced on his doorstep in the Midlands, Jensen Motors. During the 70s, Bonham purchased a small collection's worth of Jensen cars, including a 1976 Jensen Interceptor Mark III convertible. Arguably the most glamorous and prestigious of all Interceptor variants, the convertible represented the manufacturer's highest aspirations at the time of its introduction in 1974. Also among his Jensen collection was a 1972 Jensen Interceptor Mark III. Featuring a Chrysler-made 7.2-litre V8 engine, which produced 280 brake horsepower, connected to a three-speed torque flight automatic transmission. Bonham was reportedly constantly back and forth to the Jensen Parts and Service Factory, buying Jensens and having them serviced. Also included in Bonzo's Jensen collection was an FF Mark I, as well as an FF Mark II. In fact, Jimi Hendrix's drummer, Mitch Mitchell, drummer Mick Fleetwood, and drummer Ginger Baker all owned Jensen's. In the same way the royal family are remembered for their Rolls-Royce Phantoms, rock and roll drummer royalty will be remembered for their Jensen's. Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud. Bonzo reportedly bought his Rolls-Royce out of spite. While car browsing in Los Angeles while on tour, Bonham encountered a rude salesman who told him not to touch the luxury automobile unless he could pay for it. Bonham wasted no time in producing $85,000 in cash and purchased the Rolls-Royce on the spot. 
We'd bet the salesman wasn't such a Moby Dick afterwards. John Bonham's Corvettes. Bonham owned several Corvettes, including a mid-60s Corvette Stingray, that he apparently didn't have a whole lot of love for, as he only drove it for two days after purchasing it for $18,000, well over the market value at the time. A highlight in Bonham's Corvette collection is a blown 350 cubic inch 1971 Corvette Stingray. Fully customized to Bonham's specifications, it's undoubtedly one of the most rock and roll Corvettes ever produced, and could certainly take Bonham over the hills and far away at ridiculous speeds. 1954 Ford. Bonham bought his 54 Ford in Los Angeles while on tour. It was a modified street racer that had also been a show car. It featured a chromed underside, a 406 cubic inch V8 connected to a four-speed transmission. It was quite fast in its day, and no doubt John loved the power and performance of the American classic. 1975 Pontiac Trans Am. Referred to by some as the last muscle car standing, as the Firebird lineup did its best to carry the performance torch through much of the 70s, despite being dragged into the slow lane by government regulations and inflated gas prices. It was never going to bring home any trophies at the drag strip, but the 1975 Trans Am is probably owed a debt of gratitude from the collector car world. Other muscle machines died all around it, but the Trans Am was simply too nice of a car and too popular to euthanize. Even during its tamest days, the Screaming Chicken was a mighty nice car. 1978 six-wheel Jeep J10 pickup. Jeep produced 17,000 J10 pickups in 1978. Bonhams was finished in metallic brown with light gold inserts and gold painted off-road wheels. The truck also was modified by adding a dead axle out back with coil springs to augment the load carrying ability of the stretched pickup bed. It was customized with air horns on the roof, leopard skin print seat covers, and a large chassis mounted hitch. The Jeep came with a 360 V8 engine, and although includes six wheels, it's a two wheel drive driven at the rear axle. 1972. Ferrari 365 GTB Daytona Spider. The last car Bonham owned, purchased in 1980, just two weeks before he took his final stairway to heaven. Produced by Ferrari from 1968 to 1973, the Daytona was a two-seat GT and was named in honor of the Italian brand's 1-2-3 finish at the 1967 Daytona 24-hour race. Only seven right-hand drive Daytona Spiders were ever built and are today known as the Magnificent Seven. Being the petrol head that he was, of course, Bonham owned one. It's somewhat difficult to keep up with all of Bonzo's rides as he bought and sold them with such reckless abandon. Led Zeppelin's road manager recalls Bonham buying 26 cars in 1969 alone Bonzo was also reported to have driven the likes of a Lamborghini Countach, a Jaguar XK140, a Jaguar XK120, a Ferrari 400i, a Mercedes 600 Pullman, and rumours of a 1972 Mercedes 220. As time goes on, we're sure more of Bonzo's collection will come to light. If you know of any cars that Bonham owned, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.